Hello, welcome to Toy Cafe. I am your host, and in this video we have a kit for a miniature dollhouse that's being assembled for us by Darling Dolls, my best friend in the whole world. She decided to let me record over it and upload it to my channel, so let's check it out. This is what it's going to look like when it's finished, but first it has to get put together, so let's start there. This is a complete kit, so all the little pieces you need are in here, ready to go. Keeps you from having to try to hunt around and find them, but they are just pieces or pieces of paper. You still have to cut everything out, glue it all together. Still lots of work to do, lots of fun. You just get to do the fun part though, you don't have to worry about the, the hard bit of finding everything. So Dee Dee is starting here with the walls and the floors, and as you can see they are little pieces of wood and they are covered with pieces of paper that's included in the kit make them look like proper walls and floors isn't that nice there a nice floral pattern you can see the baseboard is already attached there well it's just a picture but it looks pretty good already and she's going to finish up the last wall there's a couple holes there that's for something special we'll see what that is for later but for now, we're just going to cover it all up with another nice wall pattern there. That's some nice wallpaper. I wouldn't mind having that for my wall. And Olaf is saying hi to us as well there in the background. I'm Olaf. Isn't that cute? That's uh, Dee Dee's cutting mat for this video. So there are the two walls and the floors assembled. And we're moving on to getting the furniture going. Dee Dee does not waste any time here. So we got a cute little pink table there and now she's assembling some beads onto some wire and those are going to be various supports throughout the bedroom that she is putting together. This particular one is going to be a support for the shelves there. We'll have to see in a minute how they all go together because now she's switching over to making some pillows. She's folding some cloth there in these kits they give you specific sizes that the pillows need to be but who doesn't want bigger pillows so she's just folding the material to get as big a pillow as possible and those look fantastic now she's cutting a little bit of lace because there are some other pillows yet to go she's a nice long one there putting some lace on the end making it look as pretty as possible because while pillows do look nice and comfy it's nice when they're a little bit lacy and very pretty doesn't that look nice? Well, here we have some big pieces going together. And I believe Dee Dee is making a comforter here, or a duvet. Depends on how fancy it is. Sewing up the end there with a little bit of stuffing inside to make it look nice and soft and plump. Cutting some more wire and adding more beads to make more of those supports. Those are very pretty. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in real life. But wouldn't it be delightful? This kit also includes this little mannequin, which is a nice piece. And it's supposed to be a dressmaker's mannequin, one of those ones that you use for making clothes, and you get to actually make a little dress of your own on here. I believe Dee Dee improvised this a little bit, went off the pattern, and doesn't that look nice? She's now assembling the bed. So she's got her bead supports there on the headboard and the footboard and now she's putting together the mattress need lots and lots of foam for the mattress want it to look as soft and comfy as possible finishing it up with some cloth here to be the under sheet the fitted sheet some people call it very important to have that uh, Didi has switched to the hot melt glue gun as well because she wants to get these things to stick together right away without having to clamp them she does use a number of different types of glue in this build, and each one is for a very specific purpose. But right now we're seeing a lot of hot melt glue. It's quick, and it's easy, and it stays put. One of my favorites. You just have to be careful you don't burn yourself with it. Very easy to do. Some more lace there on the bed. you got to make that look as pretty as possible. And now she has some cardstock along with some of that paper from the kit. And she's going to put those together, and these are going to be little doors for that cabinet that she started on already. She's cutting these out. Now the video is sped up here a little bit, so it looks like she's going pretty fast, but really she is taking her time being very careful to get all those cuts nice and neat and right around the curved parts. Those are always the most difficult bits. 
She's now applying them to the cabinet and it, you can see there's three little doors there and the shelving on top. That's a nice little cabinet. Next she's starting in on the desk. This desk is very pink and very pretty. Uh, not a whole lot of parts here. The drawers don't actually open on this one, but there is more lace, of course. Gotta have that lace. The drawers don't open, but that's okay. They don't need to open. They just need to look like they're actually drawers, and it's quite clever here. You just have some little pieces of paper that are colored. You glue them onto the piece of wood, and it instantly looks like you have a chest of drawers. Isn't that nice? A little more glue. See, You can see Dee is using white glue now, which is very strong. It does a very good job, but you do have to make sure that it sets up before you start working with your piece and adding more bits, and that can take a little while. So you can have quick and easy with the hot melt glue, or you can have slow and strong with the white glue. You gotta make the good choices to make sure your kit comes out as nice as possible. Couple more doors here using the same method as the drawer bank. Just glue those on there. Add a couple knobs and it'll look like a little, little credenza there for the corner. There's a lot of furniture in this bedroom. I don't remember having that much furniture in my bedroom when I was a kid, but that's okay. This is just a little dollhouse, so it's going to be as fantastic as we want it to be. Little bun feet here using those beads again. They look just gorgeous as bun feet. Very nice there. More hot melt glue. Oh, and more lace. And Dee Dee is doing the fold and cut method using the, almost all of her material as best she can. They get a nice finish there. Attaching it to the semi-round piece, this is going to be a sort of lace canopy for the bed. And what she's doing is she's actually creating folds as she glues the piece to that semicircle, adding a little bit of lace to cover up all the little folds and glue there, a little bit of ribbon to tie it off, and doesn't that look gorgeous? Now we have some very pretty fabric going on to some wooden pieces. What could this be? Of course, it's a bench for the desk. Some place for the little girl that lives in this room to sit and do her makeup or comb her hair and look at herself in the mirror. And of course, this little bench needs some more lace. Lace is definitely the theme of this room. Isn't that adorable? Now we have this beautiful heart-shaped piece out of wood and in the kit included was some mirror-like material. And that, of course, is going to be a heart-shaped mirror. Quick and easy and looks really nice. So now Dee Dee has another heart-shaped piece and she's using a glue stick. Now that's about halfway between hot melt glue and white glue. It dries very quickly, but it's still pretty strong. Really good for paper goods because it doesn't wet the paper and make it wrinkle. Now she's assembling some of this corrugated material. This is pretty strong and it can be used to make some good substantial walls for anything you want. A little more white glue here. It looks like she's going to attach the material now. A lovely red that is. And trimming it all the way around and this is going to be a little ottoman or a stool if you will. A nice soft stool. And now you can see that Dee Dee has put all of her beads in a big bowl, just dumped out the package into the bowl so she can get at them nice and easy. But she left all of the little plant parts in their bag until she needs them. This is a great idea because those little plant bits can be quite messy and can really cause a big mess, especially if you spill them or knock them over. So she leaves them in their little bag right until she needs them. And a little bit of glue, a little bit of wire, lots of pressing and a few beads and she has a gorgeous little tree that is in fruit in bloom I don't know but it looks adorable and of course the little wooden flower pot at the bottom to finish it off isn't that cute alright now we're going to start assembling the room we've made all our little furniture bits we've made the walls and now we're gonna poke some holes because we're gonna run some wires and add a few other things and then we're going to glue the room together 
Dee Dee is using wood glue here. Now this is about as strong as you can get when it comes to glue, but again, it takes a while to dry and it dries yellow. So you don't want to have any of that anywhere where you can see it. You gotta be careful with that. But once it is dry, it is extremely strong. This room includes some lights. Uh, we didn't see her making some of these light fixtures, but that's because they're very simple. They're just beads on a wire. And she is stringing all the lights before she places the furniture. And that is very smart because it's hard to get little wires under little furniture very quickly. And you can see there, those holes that were in the wall were for a music box. And that's going to be hidden behind the cabinet there. That's why it had a big empty space behind it. We'll get to hear that a little later on. And the tree goes in and some of the books. The books are really fun to make and easy too because they're just folded paper but they look fantastic when you're done. Another light goes in. She waited on this one because it's a lamp that sits on the table so you can wait to put that in there. You don't need to put it in first thing because it'll be in the way. It's always good to plan your builds out to make sure that you're not getting in your own way to try to make it as easy as possible for yourself. Mm. But more important is just to enjoy yourself. This is, of course, all for fun. And these are little worlds that you're making, and it's your little world, so you can make it any way you want. That's usually why I like to leave the final assembly to the end, instead of building up the room as you go, because you get to place all the little pieces and try to tell a little story about the person that might live in this room. What kind of little girl lives in here? She, she likes to make her own clothes, and she likes to read, and she really, really likes pink and red and frilly things. Yeah. I think I'd like this little girl. I'd like to meet her someday. There goes the canopy. That crazy shelf in the corner. I like that. All wonky. She's got a little package on there. There's also some gifts elsewhere in the room. I think this little girl might even make gifts for her friends. Uh, look at those little bottles there of uh, nail polish. And here we have the room finished and all lit up with the LED lights. Look at that. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Very cute. A little hard to see in the dark there, but now we got the lights on. And look at that. Isn't that adorable? Dee Dee decided to spread out that canopy there, get it out of the way. More for looks than anything, but isn't that adorable? I love the little slippers sitting down there and the gifts for her friends. Yeah, this is a very artsy, craftsy little girl. So I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe, hit that little bell so that you can get notified when we have a new video, and remember to come back next time.